Hey everyone, how is it going? In today's video, I want to show you how to add CSS class names to the various layers of Yoroti animations. We'll then head over to our code editor and write some super simple CSS to change the different parts of our Lottie animation, or even some JavaScript, depending on your needs. Let's get started. So starting off, I'm inside of my Lottie Files workspace using the Lottie Files workflow. Here I'm going to select the animation I want to edit and up here open it in the editor. So let's go ahead and do that. And my animation has been separated into different layers for every limb. So I've got all my legs in a separate layer, my arms, the head, all the different sort of body parts of it. So here I'm going to head into the body and click on the right panel and open up the attributes. So here you can find the layer name, ID and class names. So you can add multiple classes and you can add one ID. So I'm going to add a body ID and because I only have one body, I'm just gonna set the class name to the same. However, since we have two arms, I'm gonna go ahead and select the arm right and I'm going to name it arm right. But with my classes, I'm just gonna name it arm so that I can show you guys both the classes and IDs in CSS. So unique ID as well. And then just a class name of arm. So the arms are gonna share some CSS properties and then if you want to add like unique properties to one arm and not the other, then you can use the ID. Otherwise, if they're shared properties, um, set shared styles, just use the arm class. So we've got the body, the arm and the other arm. So that's great. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And save changes. So there we go, we've got our growing character and this now has its classes. I am going to go into the handoff and embed panel, enable the asset link and grab the asset link. And with that, we can start looking into some code and showing you how to edit this animation all through CSS as well as JavaScript. Let's get started. So we're gonna be using the Lottie Files Lottie player today and for that, I'm going to grab the Lottie Player uh, CDN link. So I'm going to save that and then head over to my code pen. So here inside the settings, I'm going to paste the CDN link and use version 1.7.0. So I'm going to save and close that. So we've got a Lottie Player now. We can then go ahead and define our Lottie player. I'm going to set it to auto play loop and I'm just going to grab the URL for my animation. There we go. And in version 1.7.0, it allows you to disable rendering the Lottie inside a shadow DOM. So I'm going to pass that prop uh, for this to work. So there we go, we've got our animation playing nicely. So we can then start adding some CSS classes to customize our Lottie animation. So I can start with the arm class. Um, so I'm going to do arm and then path. And we'll just change their fill color to an orange. So there we go. And as you can see, three lines, we've easily changed the fill color of our arms. If for example, I wanted to change the strip color for one of the arms, I could do arm right. So grabbing using the ID in this in this situation, the path, and then set its 
stroke attribute. Stroke to, let's just do white. So there we go. We've got the right arm uh, with a white stroke. And you can even use CSS pseudo selectors. So you can do hover and the CSS class will apply when you hover over the body part. So as you can see, arm right hover and its stroke will turn white. So I'm just gonna demo that once again with the body as it's a bit of a bigger uh, part of the animation. So body path fill pink. And there we go, super simple, easy way to customize your lot of animations with CSS classes. So this is working either to statically change the CSS and the color of your animation, or if you want it on hover. If you want more complicated interactions with your lot animation and have it change color, so for example, on click, you will have to use some JavaScript. But because we added class names, it's gonna be a lot easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that now. First of all, I'm going to just comment all of our CSS classes as it will interfere with that. So for example, if you have your body um, and fill it pink in CSS, it will interfere with JavaScript if you're trying to change the color of the body. So I'm just gonna go ahead and comment that for the moment. So inside of our JavaScript, I can go ahead and create a body variable document get and you know we're not going to use get in a bad idea we're going to use the query selector and grab the body i'm going to create another another variable called body part and you know not body part body path and we're going to do body query selector all and we're actually going to grab all of the paths inside of the body. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a condition on body, check if it exists. If body exists, let's go ahead and add an event listener. I'm going to do the mouse down and pass it a function to run as callback. So we have our body. I'm going to check if there are any paths inside of the body. So I'm going to do body path dot length. We're then going to loop over our body paths. As it's an array, just a simple for loop. And whilst we loop over them, we are going to add attributes to them. So body pass or body path, body path I set attribute. So here you can add SVG attributes. I'm going to set the fill once again and set it to pink. Um, just like we did before. So that's on mouse down. If the mouse is, you know, released, let's set a event listener for mouse up, double check again, the body path length, and let's just set them back to turquoise, I believe. I'm not sure if it's gonna be the right, color but let's see how that goes so I go ahead and save I can click it and it's turning to pink and then it's going back to turquoise so that's cool if you knew the original color obviously put that there instead of turquoise uh, but turquoise is pretty close for my color so that's working pretty well but that's how you can add a click listener on a body part or just even a part of your Lottie animation and have it change color. So I hope this tutorial helped you out. 
and the two methods will be useful to you, either by using CSS or JavaScript to easily change different parts and colors of your Lottie animations. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.